Today's My Health segment brought to you by Choose for Health, the world's first super fruit, sea vegetable, antioxidant, chewable dietary supplement. Today's My Health segment is coming to you from the campus of the prestigious Cleveland Clinic, where we've traveled to talk with a very special guest. He's appeared on dozens of TV shows, including the Today Show, Good Morning America, Larry King, and Oprah. He's the chief wellness officer for the Cleveland Clinic, and he's co-authored several New York Times best-selling health books with Dr. Oz. Welcome to the show, Dr. Michael Royzen. Great Privileged to have to you. be here. Great to have you. I'll tell you, I grew up, my father's a medical doctor, my grandfather father was a medical doctor, so I saw from an early age the emphasis that the medical profession puts on illness care. You're stepping outside that box and you're really focusing on wellness care. Why is that? Well, we feel that if all we do is great illness care, and the Cleveland Clinic we think has to do always great illness right. care, that in fact we won't be doing the leadership role we think of for society. That is, the Cleveland Clinic says if we're going to really bend the cost curve down, right. if we're going to do things to help lead the health revolution, but at the same time be able to afford great illness care, we've got to teach people how to live healthier. What are some tips that you could give, quick tips, to help people focus on you taking care of your own health? Well, there are five things I say oh. everyone can do and should do. Right. First is understand that you get a do-over. That is, if all you've done is fry your brain with burgers for breakfast, if you've done no walking, no physical activity, if you've smoked, if you've got a lot of stress, the, the great news is if you change today, within three years, it's as though you've done none of the bad habits and only the good habits. Two is physical activity. Walk 30 minutes. Everyone, virtually everyone who's listening can walk 30 minutes. You can't walk 30 minutes? Start with five and work up. Third is call a buddy and tell them you walk the 30 minutes because none of us will do everything that we should do. So you've got to, in fact, um, have someone to help support you. Fourth is avoid five aging foods. Food changes the way your genes function for three to seven days, sometimes even longer. So if you have an ice cream cone tonight, you're saying, and say, I'm going to exercise tomorrow, wrong. That saturated fat today right. will turn on genes that make it more likely for you to have certain diseases and less likely for you to stay well. So avoid the five aging foods. And if it's in the first five ingredients on the label, avoid it. Saturated fat, that's four-legged animal fat, two-legged animal skin, palm, coconut oil, those are the main ones. Second, trans fat, that's partially hydrogenated vegetable oil. Third, sugars. Fourth, syrups, because syrups are just sugars in disguise. And fifth is any grain but 100% whole grain. You can have everything else, so focus on everything else because you can make great food without those five ingredients. And number five is, I say, take five pills and call me in the morning. Right. And that's, you want to talk with your physician about that, but it is DHA. DHA is the active omega-3, so whether it's two grams of fish oil or 600 milligrams of DHA, that's one of those things if you don't get 13 ounces of salmon or trout. Second one is check with your physician for men over 35, women over 40, two baby aspirin a day. Third is calcium 600 milligrams, magnesium 200 milligrams twice a day. The calcium alone is to help you build bones mm -hmm. and, and in fact keep some cancers away. The magnesium, if you, if you only have the calcium without the magnesium, you'll get bloated, you'll feel gotcha. or you'll have constipation. So the magnesium is necessary for that. Um, fourth is vitamin D, 1,000 international units a day. And uh, the fifth, and, and this again is, is with these, you wanna check with your physician, um, is a probiotic. And the sixth, there's a, there's a bonus six, which is take half a multivitamin morning and night. Why do we say morning and night? Because you pee out the water-soluble ones, you right. urinate them out in about 16 hours. So to keep a steady level for the 24 hours, you need half of the multivitamin. 
as an gotcha. insurance policy against a bad diet morning and night. Dr. Rosenwater, thank you for being here. Let me tell you, you are truly a pioneer at helping Americans learn how to live longer, get healthier, and lose that belly fat that's important. Appreciate you being here. Remember, folks, focus on wellness care now, and you won't need illness care later. For more information on Dr. Roizen, you can go to 360-5.com and also check out thebalancingact.com slash askthedoctor, and I will see you again next Monday.